What's up guys, welcome to Mike It Yourself. In today's video, this is gonna be the last part of our three part series related to the cables for the new ape hangers on the Fat Boy. And what we're gonna to do today is swap out the um, throttle and idle cable that is on this. And, and when I put these apes on, I actually rerouted these, which makes it look a little bit better. But as you can see here, this is there's a huge amount of excess cable I even have some more that's under the tank kind of hidden and then it goes to the carb. So we're going to swap these out with some new cables. We'll do a quick side by side comparison so you can see the length difference. One of the things that we're going to have to do in order to fit those appropriate cables and those cables, like I said, were ordered based on a 12 inch um, ape is I have the SNS super um, shorty and the the place where the cables go through, that's the, uh, I guess the cable bracket or whatever. I have to swap that out with a tall bracket. So we'll, we'll look at this once we get down to that level. So we're going to have to swap that bracket out, uh, to adjust for the excess that comes in the cables because they're, they're made for, for an actual, you know, fat boy and, and mine's a custom. So it's a little bit different. And because of those differences, I've got to just adjust for it. But that's why they make the uh, the bracket for it. So let's go ahead and remove this cover so we can access those cables. And then uh, we just need to disconnect them from there and disconnect them from the throttle area. And uh, we'll be able to pull these things out and we can weave in the new cables. All right. So you can see that bracket that I was talking about now that we got the uh, air cleaner cover off and everything. And it's just... Uh, Basically one screw, they gave me a replacement screw for that that we'll have to take out. So hopefully I can do that without having to worry about the tank. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty easy. Now, one thing you'll have to note is, like I said, one is a throttle cable and the other is an idle cable. The way you tell the difference between the two cables is one has a spring on the end. And I believe that one, the spring, the one with the spring is the idle cable, right? So as you twist your throttle, the cable that you're pulling on, which is going to be the forward one in this piece, right? So it's going to be this cable here. That's your throttle. And then this is going to be your idle. So that's kind of, that's what is going to return it, you know, once you you do your thing, right? So, and that whole process. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get these cables out of here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So what I'll need to do is try to grant myself as much slack as possible, um, by loosening these up and I think they're already all loose. So, um, yeah, it should just be a matter of, of kind of pulling up on it, getting it out of these little cups and then, um, getting the ferrule, which you can see down there, getting those out of those little holes. And then, uh, uh I'll be able to pull the cables out from the tank. They're zip tied together and, uh, it should be relatively easy. I don't think I'm going to have to take off the tank in order to get them out. So let me go ahead and pull those out and then we'll get the cable removed. All right. So, um, I needed more slack down there cause I couldn't get those out of the cups. And so what I decided to do is go ahead and undo this. i took the ferrules off. Make sure you're careful when you're taking them off. Cause if you drop them, they bounce around. They're not magnetic cause they're brass. And so it's a pain to find them if you, if you lose them. And they're about seven bucks um, at your local HD. So you know, just keep that in mind. Um, at this point, all I need to do is unscrew these and then these cables will come right out from the housing. And then that'll give me the slack I need to be able to pull those out. And then I'll be able to pull these cables right out. All right, so here are the new cables. And you can see, you know, I'm not gonna like do it inch for inch, but huge difference in length. So that's gonna make up the difference. What I want to do first is zip tie them together in a couple of spots on the lower half of them. Um, that just keeps them together, keeps it a little cleaner. And then the upper part, of course, won't have anything. Uh, again, I'm, I'm considering putting those chrome cable um, clamps on the bike. Uh, I, I just got to think it through a little bit more, um, depending on how I feel. And after this kind of the look of it wears off on me a little bit, you know what I mean? So let me go ahead and zip tie them, get them routed. And we'll also replace that bracket that I was talking about. All right, so just to give you a little bit of perspective on the size difference of, uh, so this is the original one I just took off and the new one is already on, but you can see the, the size difference, right? 
Um, that throttle side really is super short, where on that one it's quite a bit longer. And then on the idle side, it's it's not it's not like a huge difference in length, but it is longer. So that's going to help make up the difference. So at this point, it's it's pretty straightforward and easy. I just need to route my cables uh, underneath the tank and then uh, put them in their cups, their appropriate cups. And again, like I said, the idle cable is going to be this front one with the spring on it. Hook that up, do the throttle, and then we just kind of route them up to the to the uh, housing here with the grip. I just got to get my grip and put that back on with the ferrules. And then it's just an adjustment and I'll show you how to do the adjustment. But first let's get these things routed and then we'll talk adjustments. All right, so when you're installing this upper half, you just kind of put the, the, the cables through the base, then you can tighten up your, your little L elbows here, the 90 degree deals. You don't have to worry about them getting stiff. Like if you tighten them down, like you won't be able to move these. These actually do move around even post. So then at that point, it's just a matter of getting the ferrules into or on onto the cable and in place and then you want to make sure as you put this together that you see the little channel there that your cable sits in those channels and then once you've got it all back together which you know depending on your bike may have different clamp bolts but i've got two one in the front one in the back um what we're going to do is you essentially just loosen up this jack screw here or the jack nut and then we spin these out and that'll take up the slack to make sure that we've got full throttle movement. And after that, you're done. Well, unless you need to do cable management. But other than that, you're really done as far as that goes. We'll put on the air cleaner again and uh, back on the road. So I'll bring it back as soon as I get that put together and I'll show you the adjustment. Cables are uh, installed now. And it's just a matter of doing an adjustment to them. So what you want to check to see, see how much play you have in your throttle. You want to make sure it snaps back, right? So depending on you, you may like a little bit of play in your cable. You might not. I don't know. It depends on you, right? So I like to not have almost anything in there. So I've got to adjust the throttle cable, which is this forward one, just a little bit. And like I said, all you have to do is once you've broken that, jack nut loose as you spin this uh, what you want to call this collar or something but you kind of spin that and what that's going to do is it'll start taking it starts splitting here right and that's what's removing the slack from your line so you kind of do a couple turns check your throttle and you just kind of keep repeating that process to your desired you know motion or whatever so at this point i mean there's barely anything there i'm feeling pretty good about it right there right yeah there we go so then once you've adjusted it you spin that jack nut up and what you want to do is kind of tighten them together so that way it doesn't you know loosen up or anything like that on you but that's pretty straightforward so that is pretty much it. Like I said, all I need to do is put my air cleaner back on and it's a done deal. Um, overall, I think it looks great. I mean, a lot better than what it did. So now those, those, those cables come down. I don't have all that slop that I had to hide behind this. Uh, instead, it just comes straight down under the tank and to the new bracket. Now, it was a little bit of a tight fit under there uh, with, the, with the tank on. Um, because it is so tall. So that's something you may need to consider for your bike, depending on, on how your setup is. Um, but I was able to put it on it. Like I said, everything's working as it should. So it's good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit that thumbs up, if you enjoy my content, please become a subscriber. We're on our way to the goal of a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer and closer every day. So every sub helps out for reaching that goal. And I look forward to you being a member of our community. Um, if you don't want to miss out on that next video, hit the notification bell. That way it gets to your feed and you know, hey, the new Mike It Yourself video is up and ready for you, for you to watch. So until the next video, I hope to see you 
in the win.